up, fellas? How's it going? Finally out of those mountains, so got a little bit of a shave and got my outfit all set up, and I think I'm ready for, you know, adventuring in these heartlands down here. Oh, Arthur, my boy. My dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. We're free. We're f free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. How's a cigar? Not bad, but sometimes I prefer a pipe. I've been meaning to get one for ages. I left the old one in mm, black water. I know. Well, if I find one, you can have it. Well, you are a gentleman, Mr. Morgan. I raised you well. <laughs> oh, don't take too much pride in your work. <laughs> Like hanging out in camp, you know, you can get something to eat, get a little bit of coffee, torment the prisoners, which is probably my favorite activity so far. <laughs> yeah, it's always good to get a bit of stew in you before you start uh, pillaging and robbing, right? <laughs> Morning. Good morning, Arthur. You and the boy Always gotta say morning to people, you know. So. Thank you. All right, well. You Jack's know. also my favorite sure. character in the whole camp. <laughs> Arthur, he just like throws his plate there down, is. like. <laughs> Mood seems pretty good around here. It does. You're Arthur, right? Get me some coffee. My name ain't no concern of yours. I'm hungry. I don't give a damn. Look, y you seem like a decent fella behind it all. Then you ain't a good judge of character. <laughs> yeah, well. We'll leave it there and then. Is anybody getting me some? Just like to taunt him by drinking some coffee, you know. We gotta get him to talk, fellas. It's the only way, I'm afraid. Have a lovely meal, folks. <laughs> oh, poor bastard. <laughs> Take a little stroll about the camp. Uh, refill my gin and such. I can't even read that. <laughs> that guy's stepping on someone's bed. <laughs> well, you gotta check out the surroundings, you know. We got all that country, fellas. Just out there, up for the taking.
My lady. Good day, Mr. Morgan. You seem to have everything well in order here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. Well, it looks pretty good to me. We'll see you later. That's my boy. All right, well, I should be getting on. Whatever you say. Uh, better put what I have in this old tail thing, huh? I don't need any of these rings or watches or belt buckles or anything. <laughs> Usually, I give them loot unless it's to uh, top off the, uh, you know, the thing a bit, which I might do. Eh, I think I'll just give like two bucks to make it even hundred or something. And then, you know, no one else is going to do it, so I might as well chop me some wood and such. You know, camp's always using wood. Especially in these times, you know, there ain't no uh, indoor heating fellas. Builds character, all this chopping. Gives you some steady hands, a good grip, which is important for shooting, you know? <laughs> See ya. Hey, fellas, that's the rest of my video. I hope you're really enjoying this playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. I think it's such an excellent game, and I hope you guys are enjoying the story as much as I am. And I hope you keep your uh, shield arm strong and you have a good game next time because it's really important to me that you guys are having fun in this dreary, dreary world we live in.